I'm Mrs. Hasty, and today we're going to have fun with part, part, whole. Let's start with a rhyme. One and one is two, two and two is four, three and three is six, now let's do some more. Four and four is eight, five and five is ten, Six and six is twelve. Let's do that again. One and one is two. Two and two is four. Three and three is six. Now let's do some more. Four and four is eight. Five and five is ten. Six and six is twelve. Now we're at the end. Did you know you could take two parts, like one and one, and put them together to make a whole two. Let's do some activities with parts and holes. What can you tell me about the animals on my board? Yes, I have three cats. One, two, three, and four dogs. One, two, three, four. That means part of my animals are cats and part of my animals are dogs. This part, the part that's cats, has three. And this part, the part that's dogs, has four. Two parts. How many animals do I have in all? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means my whole group of animals has seven. Wow! Part three, part four makes a whole of seven. Another way to write this is three plus four equals seven. What can you tell me about my animals now? I have one, two, three, four cats and one dog. So this part of my animals, the part with cats has, you're right, has four. And this part, my part with dogs, has, yes, it has one. So a four part and a one part together makes how many in all? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I have five animals in all. Can you help me write an addition sentence? This part is four plus a part of one equals five. Oh look, I have even more dogs and cats now. Let's see, how many cats do I have? One, two, Three. The part of my animals that are cats has three. What about the part of my animals that are dogs? One, two, three, four, five, six. This part of my animals has six animals in it. A three part and a six part. How much do I have in all? Well, let's count the whole group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine animals in all. My whole group has nine animals in it. Let's write an addition sentence. This part is three plus this part, 
which is six, equals my whole, which is nine. Three plus six equals nine. Now, let's take a whole and split it into parts. How many dogs do we have as our whole group? One, two, three, four. There are four dogs. Can we split our dogs into groups or parts? What if we put three dogs over here and we have three dogs in that part? How many dogs do we have left in this part? Yes, we have one dog left in that part. What if we put these dogs over here and keep these ones over here? How many dogs are in this part? One, two. Two dogs in that part. And in this part? One, two. You're right. What if I move all of these dogs over to this part? How many dogs do we have in this part? One, two, three, four. Four dogs on that part of the board. And how many over here? We have none or zero. There's lots of different ways to split four into parts. Hmm, do you think that we could do this with an even bigger number of dogs? Let's try. Wow, I have a lot of dogs. Will you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My whole group of dogs has eight. We'll put eight down as our whole. Will you help me split my eight dogs into parts? Okay, let's start by putting a dog over here and all the other ones over on this part of my board. Well, this part of my board has one dog and this part of my board has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dogs. This part has one and this part has seven. That means one plus seven equals my whole, which is eight. Let's do it again. What if we were to move a dog, now he has a friend, to this part of the board? One, two dogs over here and that part of my board plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dogs on that part of the board. Two plus six equals my whole, which is eight. What if we move another dog over? Now there's one, two, three on that part of the board and one, two, three, four, five on that part of the board. That means three plus five equals our whole, which is eight. You ready to move another dog over? Woof, woof, woof. He came over to be with friends. One, two, three, four dogs on that part of the board. And one, two, three, four dogs on that part of the board. 
four plus four is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, which is our whole. Do you think another dog wants to jump over? <laughs> woof, woof. Now we have one, two, three, four, five dogs on that part of our board. And one, two, three dogs on this part. Five plus three equals our whole, which is eight. You're catching on. Here goes another dog. Woof, woof, woof. This part of our board has one, two, three, four, five, six dogs. And this part of our board has one, two, six on that part plus two from this part equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is our whole group of dogs. Woof, woof, another one's moving over. This part has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this part has one. Seven plus one equals eight. That's our whole. Oh, what if this dog comes and joins his friends? Now this part of our board has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dogs. Plus, how many do we have in this part? None. Zero. Eight plus zero equals our whole group of dogs, which is eight. Great job doing parts and holes with me today. And I hope you'll come back again for more learning fun. Keep learning at home by making paper chains. Part one color, part another color. Then count to find the whole. Roll dice. You'll have two numbers. Put the two parts together to make a whole. You can make pipe cleaner flags. Put on beads for two parts, making a whole. And there's always printable resources available at my teacher's store at teacherspayteachers.com. Don't forget to subscribe!